I'm going to show you how to make four different deli sandwiches and the first one's going to be a club and I started by making the bread first which is translucent and white clay then I rolled it out and made two squares that are going to be the pieces of bread then I rounded off the corners and to make it look like it was baked I added chalk to the edges and I started with a light yellow and then a darker brown and to texture the bread I used a piece of sandpaper that's really rough and I just pressed it into the bread. I used a light green color to make the lettuce and I just picked off pieces and then smashed it with a big ball tool and then I added the pieces of lettuce to each slice of bread. I mixed red and brown clay to make bacon slices and I'm just gonna cut them and then shape them kind of in a curly snake like shape and then I'm just gonna press three pieces onto one slice of bread and then I'm gonna use red clay to make little tomatoes and they don't have to be perfect because you won't you'll only see the edges of them and then I made a turkey color by mixing red and translucent clay and this is what the sandwich looks like when it's put together and now I'm just gonna cut it in half and then texture the inside of the bread because it gets kind of smashed when you cut it and I'm just using a needle tool to texture it. Now I'm gonna make a baguette sandwich and I'm gonna start by making the bread and I'm just gonna roll out some ecru colored clay which is kind of like tan and now I'm gonna mark where the indents are gonna go and then I'm gonna use a razor blade to cut them out. And then you wanna smooth the indents and then after you do that you wanna use a piece of sandpaper to add texture and chalk to make it look like it's been baked again and I used a lighter color in the center and a darker color on the edges and then once you're finished adding color you want to cut it in half and I'm using a dark green color for the lettuce and I'm using a light pink a red and a brown color to make the beef and to make it look like it's been peppered I'm dipping it in ballast which I found in the railroad section at Hobby Lobby for like miniature trains and it's supposed to look like dirt but it also looks like pepper and then I'm just gonna slice it and put it on the sandwich and to make the camembert cheese I'm using a vanilla colored clay that's made by Fimo and I'm texturing the top to make the rind of the cheese I used white acrylic paint and then I sliced it once it was finished drying you want the slices to look like tiny wedges but they don't have to be perfect and actually the messier they look the more realistic they'll look to make the Reuben sandwich I started by making the rye and pumpernickel swirled bread and I'm just using brown and tan clay and then I'm gonna roll it into kind of like a cinnamon roll shape and then once I rolled it all together, I added another piece of tan clay on top. Then I rolled it out just a little bit to make sure they were all pressed together. And then once you have a loaf, you just want to use the same chops to make the outside look baked again. And now I'm just going to cut the slices of bread and I'm going to use the same piece of sandpaper to texture them. To make the corned beef, I mixed the turkey color with brown and translucent and you want it to be marbled like actual corned beef so you don't have to mix it all the way through. And now I'm just going to cut the slices and add them to one part of the sandwich and I'm using the same vanilla color to make the cheese and you just want to add those slices on top and then add the bread and bake it. To make the poppy seed bagel, I started by making the bread which is just the same ecru color and I made a hole in the center and then smoothed it out and once you've shaped it you can cut it in half and then use chalk to color the bottom and the top I used a little bit of glaze and the same ballast to make the poppy seed coating and to make the cream cheese I mixed white polymer clay with a little bit of mineral oil and it breaks down the polymer clay just like TLS or Fimo Deco Gel would. And you can use any oil like olive oil, baby oil, um, tea tree oil, it doesn't really matter. And you can use this technique to make whipped cream, frosting, or any kind of sauce. 
And now I'm just going to add the cream cheese to the bagel and it's finished. But if you want to make your sandwiches look like they actually came from a deli, you can wrap them in tissue paper like this baguette sandwich. I'm just going to roll it in the tissue paper and then I'm going to trim the edges and I'm going to use a little piece of tape to secure it together. And this is what they look like once they're all finished. So have fun, make your own, and don't forget to take pictures and share them with me on Facebook.